If you haven't heard of Cedia, it's an electronics show similar to CES, but instead of everything electronics, it's more focused on custom installation in the home entertainment industry. And I got a chance to attend the expo and talk to some of the great brands that we sell. All right, so I'm here at the Hisense booth and behind me is one of their new projectors. Who are we here with? Uh, JD Fultz, I'm the product marketing manager for Hisense for Laser TV. Awesome. So uh, I did notice this is the L9H, which yep. is different than last year's model. So what's really the big difference here? Yeah, so you know it is trichroma, triple laser, just like last year, so you get that great color. But some of the improvements we have in the feature set is uh, it's all new Google TV operating system. So uh, if you're familiar with the Google TV that we have in our other TVs uh, or something else you've used, it's the same system in there. Uh, additionally, we have Dolby Vision out of the box, uh, as well as uh, Dolby Atmos. So we're one of the few guys that can actually be able to uh, talk about that uh, this year. So um, some, some great features for not only the picture, uh, but also your ability to stream and interact with the device. That's awesome. And I, I think with Google TV, you get a lot of your favorite apps like, like Netflix. Absolutely. And, um, just overall, people really like the Google TV, so that's awesome. Absolutely. Now, there's also, so the L9H is behind me, but what about the PX Pro? Is that right, PX Pro 2? PX2 Pro, yeah, absolutely. So um, so it also is a triple laser uh, projector, so uh, you get that same uh, quality that you get in the L9H, but you get some new flexibility uh, compared to, say, uh, what we have here is a package of screen plus projector. The uh, PX2 Pro, it's a projector only. So what that allows you to do is uh, choose the screen that works best for you in your room. So if you want uh, a 90 inch screen up to 130, whatever in between, you know the variable focal lens will allow you to dial in to the size that's best for your need. So uh, a lot of the same feature set. So you do still get, still get uh, Google TV, you still get uh, Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos and all of those features, but a lot more flexibility. Okay, and now they both are short throw projectors. Absolutely. Can you do, can you upside down mount both Absolutely. of them? Absolutely, so you can uh, invert the picture, mount it upside down, and then what's great about the PX2 Pro is then based on uh, your room and your lighting conditions, you can match it to the screen that best works in your lighting conditions. So do you, do you have a lot of ambient light? Is it a darkened room? What are you trying to go for? Um, so, you know, you can consult your, uh, your dealer partner on what the best screen to match with that is based on your uh, viewing environment. That's awesome. And uh, as far as TVs go, because we really like projectors, that's where our focus is as a company, but I did see there is a U8, so U8 and then something, there's some X model over there that looks really cool. What are those? That's right. So we do have the 100 U8K, so it continues on from our uh, award-winning U8K lineup. Uh, so now we go all the way up to 100 inches. Uh, so we just announced that at the show this week. Uh, and then we do have the 85 UX. So that is kind of our, uh, our ultimate uh, kind of cinematic viewing experience. So uh, I think it's over 20,000 LEDs, over 5,000 dimming zones, uh, 2,500 nits of brightness if that's what you're looking for. So it's really kind of, and it also has our uh, anti-reflective technology. So if you're really trying to go big and get a great viewing and the ultimate picture experience, on the TV side, that's gonna be your solution. Yeah, and the thing I think that stuck out to me the most was those little speakers on the side, kind of bringing something back right there or what? That's right, so <laughs> you can have a, a cinematic experience out of the box, not unlike say the L9H that has 40 watts of power and, and right. built in Dolby Atmos. So, you know, we're trying to make it so that it's really uh, attainable for every consumer, right? So you can step in and have a full cinematic experience or, you know, being here at C Cedia, uh, you can have your, your dealer partner and your integrator create the ultimate home theater system. It's awesome. Well, you guys heard it here first, stopping at the High Sense booth. Thank you so much for your time. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys later. I was glad to get a chance to talk to JD over in the High Sense booth about everything new in the laser TV world. Their L9H is a better version of last year's, as you heard. But what's more impressive is the fact that it won Best Laser TV Award for the CDA 2023. Hisense has been killing it over the last few years in their laser TV lineup. And, you know, seeing something like the PX2 Pro come out is really cool to me because you get all those 
same features and quality, like you said, of the LH9, L9H actually, <laughs> but you get all those same features and you know, you can pick the screen. You can do whatever is best for your situation. You're not just limited to what the screen is. And that's not to say it's a bad thing that you have, you know, a limited screen selection when it comes to the L9H, but you know, it's really good out of the box for someone who doesn't exactly know what to look for. So, you know, having both models is great. Now, as far as the TVs, the U8 looked amazing. I was really surprised with how it looked on the show floor considering how bright it is. So just a great TV overall, but what was more interesting to me personally was the UX, the 85 inch. That thing was an absolute beast, very, very bright, but something about that TV, particularly if you heard me mention, is it coming back, was those front facing speakers on the side of the TV. You could barely even notice them, which I really appreciate, but you know, having that front facing audio rather than down firing is just going to make a huge difference when it comes to audio. I'm excited to kind of see how this sounds in a normal environment. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and let me know what you guys thought about the Hisense booth down below. I will link all other Cedia related videos down in the description as well, and we'll see you guys in the next one.